Hello friends, this video on breathing and exchange of gases part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about some of the terms related to the process of breathing and they are respiratory volumes and capacities. Now what are these respiratory volumes and respiratory capacities? So here we will talk about some of the terms related to respiratory volumes and some terms related to respiratory capacities. Now before I go ahead and talk about them, let us first try to understand the difference between these two terms, volumes and capacities. Now when I say volume, what do you mean? Volume would mean the amount of anything. So if I say the volume of water or the volume of liquid present in the glass, that would mean the amount of liquid that is present in the glass, right? If I say the capacity of the glass is to hold say one liter of liquid, that means that is the maximum volume of the liquid that the glass can hold. So whenever we use the term capacity, it always means the maximum that something can do or something can hold. For example, if I say uh, what is your capacity to do this work that means what is your maximum ability how much effort can you put in from your side right so whenever i talk about volume i am always talking about the amount of anything whether that is maximum minimum or whatever but whenever the word capacity comes into picture it always talks about the maximum ability or the ability of anything to do a particular thing so that is how volume and capacity differ from each other. Now why I uh, told this is, now when I talk about the respiratory volumes and respiratory capacities, that might cause confusion. So let us go ahead and look at the respiratory volumes. Now you might wonder why are we, I mean why are we discussing this? That's because we talked about inspiration and expiration. So we talked about the that we breathe in air which is rich in oxygen and we breathe out air which is rich in carbon dioxide. But we also need to know how much of air we are taking in and how much or, of air we are throwing out. So those quantities should be known to us that how much of air we are taking in, how much of air is remaining in the lungs, how much more we need. So in order to gain an understanding on all those aspects, we need to define all these terms. Now in respiratory volumes, we will talk about some of the terms like tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume and residual volume. So these are the four terms which we will talk about uh, in respiratory volumes. So let us see what are they. So let's start with tidal volume or tidal volume, whatever you call it. So this is the total volume of air inspired or expired by normal respiration. Now there are two terms which I will be using here. One is normal respiration and one is forced respiration. That means if you breathe normally, it will be like, okay, you take in air, you give out air normally without any force. But sometimes, for example, when you do yoga or something, what happens? You try, tend to do it forcefully you tend to inspire or you tend to take in more air you tend to take in as much air as possible so that is like an intentional forceful respiration you are trying to take in as much as air as possible again you are trying to give out as much air as possible so that is not a normal respiration that is a forceful respiration now when i am talking about tidal volume it is the total volume of air which we are taking in or which we are giving out during a normal respiration so we are not forcing to take take too much of air or we are not forcing to give out too much of air it is just a normal respiration or a normal breathing so the total volume which we are taking in or which we are giving out that is tidal volume. Now normally it is seen that in a normal adult healthy human being, uh, it, this tidal volume is around 6000 to 8000 milliliter of air per minute. So in one minute this much amount of air is inspired or expired. It is either taken in or taken out. So this is the amount of air. Okay. 
Next is inspiratory reserve volume. Now inspiratory is derived from the word inspiration. Inspiration is inhalation. So it has something to do with inhalation. So it is the additional volume of air inspired by forceful respiration. Now let us suppose under normal respiration, maybe for example, I'm just giving you an example. Suppose under normal breathing, you take in or you inspire X milliliter of air normally you don't you are not doing anything forceful now let us suppose you want to take a forceful inspiration so you want to inhale as much as possible by you so that means when you will try to do an, a forceful inspiration you will tend to take in x plus y milliliter of air that's because this is forcefully you are trying to take in more air so this additional volume of air which you are inspiring by forceful respiration is known as inspiratory reserve volume now this is denoted by irv because the terms are quite long so they are generally i mean abbreviated so this is irv this is tv that is how we denote it. Now, generally, again, in case of a healthy human being, it is seen that IRV is approximately 2,500 to 3,000 milliliter. So, this much amount, of, which is almost half of tidal volume. So, under normal condition, if you can inspire some 6,000 milliliter per minute, so additionally, maybe you can inspire some 2,500 more. Similarly, expiratory reserve volume would be the additional volume of air expired by forceful respiration. Similarly, if you try to force forcefully do an expiration, that is you try to throw out as much air as possible. So the additional volume of air which is expired, that is expiratory reserve volume or ERV. And it has been seen to be 1000 to 1100 milliliter for an adult human being. So what is residual volume? Residual is something which is left over. The term residue means something which is left over at the end. So residual volume is the volume of air which is left over after forceful expiration. Now it has been seen that even if you do a forceful expiration, that is you have tried to give out as much air as possible. But even after that, some amount of air is still left over in your lungs. So that leftover volume of air is known as residual volume or RV and it has been found to be 1100 to 1200 milliliter. So these are all the respiratory volumes. So here if you see in all of these, they are nothing but the amount of uh, air, whether it is the amount of air during normal respiration or the amount of air taken in or given out during forceful respiration or the amount of air which is left over after forceful respiration. So it is not talking about the capacity. That is, what is the capacity of the lung or what is the capacity of a human being to give out maximum or to take in maximum. So here we are not talking about the capacity at all. Now in the next, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.